I've been experimenting with the elemental taxonomy filter and I'm taking it a stage further with what we can do with the parent and child filters and how we can reveal the child filters after you click on a parent. On the screen, we've got a loop grid, very standard, and we've got the elemental taxonomy filter. Um, you can see the parent's bike, brand, color, and transmission. Don't worry about the terms and the wording I've used. I just wanted to get across an example. We've got a loop grid, very standard. We've got the title and down here I'm showing you the post info widget that you could drop into your loop grid and all it does is show you the categories. Uh, the downside to it is that it does show you the parent and the child but I'm only showing you that so that when I click you can see what it does. So at the moment we've got bike brand color transmission. We are not seeing the child taxonomy filter categories appearing in the filter until I click on a parent. Let me just demonstrate what happens when I click on something that does not have a child. Now, when I click on bike, you're going to see the bike post. Now, this has got bike present within it. The others did not have bike. Now, nothing else appeared over here. And that's because bike does not have any children. Let me just pop it back over to all. So we've got our four parents still. Now, watch what happens when I click on Brandon. Just watch what happens, okay? Did you see that? the child taxonomies or categories appeared, BMW, Ferrari, Toyota. If I go and click Ferrari, there's only one post. Let's just go back and hit brand. If I click BMW, I think there was two there. If I go to bike, we only get one. So the idea is, is that the child taxonomies only appear when you click on the parent. You click on color, blue and red. You click on transmission, we get automatic and manual. I click on manual and only the posts I've got manual in them will now appear. Why is this useful before I show you how to build it? And it is relatively quite simple. There's just a little bit you gotta do with your categories, but it is really, really simple. Let's say bike had 20 children and brand had 20 children and 20 children and transmission had 50 children. Imagine showing all of the parent and children taxonomies on your page now, let alone when you get to the mobile. And even though you can have like a scroll horizontal option when you go to the settings, it's still a lot of scrolling, right? And it can get a little bit unweedly, unweedly, unwieldy and unmanageable. So this is what you do to have your children appear when you've clicked on a parent. Now, there are some caveats and some things you can't do. And I hope I can qu answer or question, question, answer them in later videos when I know what to do with them. So I'm going to mention the caveats, but also this is just a dummy website I'm building on. If you want to improve the code, please go and do so. By the way, I'm Imran from Web Squad, and I hope you're loving all the tutorials we're doing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow. Let me now show you how you build this. First thing you've got to do is actually address what your categories are in terms of parent and child. You can see I've got seven posts and I've gone in and signed the categories. What is important though is that when you do go over to posts and categories, you have to give them particular slug names. Now, if anyone is able to take the code and refine it and remove the need for this, brilliant. But this really will make it work. And the issue is to do with the data attributes and the allocation of class names, etc., for your categories because WordPress does not make that really simple for you. So bike is a parent. And if we go to the quick edit, the name is bike, but the slug is parent hyphen bike. So for every parent, and I'm going to show you brand, which is also a parent, you have the word parent hyphen. Okay, and if we go to transmission down here, which is also a parent, you got parent hyphen transmission. You must follow that rule. Okay, now when it comes to the children, slightly different. BMW is a child of the brand parent. And then we got BMW. You're going to say, isn't this really, really fiddly? And you've got, say, a hundred of these to go through. Look, if you don't want to put in the hard work, then you can find another solution. Pretty simple, right? And I'm sure you may eventually find something, but I haven't really found anyone who's managed to crack this with the elemental taxonomy filter. If I'm wrong, stick it in the comments. And if there's a better way to do this, I am all ears and listening to you. So if we take the color red, for instance, where the parent is color, when you go to quick edit, it's child hyphen color. So you put the word child hyphen, you put the parent name. So if the parent name was colors, it would say colors. And then obviously hyphen red, because that relates to that. And if we go to transmission or manual, you got child. Remember, it's always got to have child, transmission, and then manual. I hope that made sense. So that's all you got to do to the categories. And then what you want to do is go over to your actual loop grid. We've got the taxonomy filter. 
By the way, you may have noticed that I was assigning different colors to the all, the parent and the child. If I scroll down, I will give you this uh, bit of CSS in the video description so you can drop it in. It gives a independent color to the all, to the parent and the children. So it makes it easier to see on the eye. Now, the magic for all of this actually happens inside of this HTML. So you got your taxonomy filter, you got your loop grid, and then you go and drop in your HTML. There is a caveat I do need to mention, though, about the loop grid. I'll come on to that in a moment. All you do is drop this code in. You do not need to modify this code. If you want to go and stick it into AI, you can do. But the idea is, is that this is going to pick up where you have items that begin with child, which is why the slug name for child has to have child and then hyphen. And the same with the parents, a parent, and then you got that. And what it does is um, as long as the parent name is inside of the slug for the child, that's how it makes that connection. You would have thought it was easier. And I was a little bit surprised because this actually took five minutes for chat GPT. And then it took a total of three days after that, back and forth, back and forth, because there was always this issue with the data attributes. But I've kind of shown you now within the categories, if I just go back to that screen, make sure you address it in the slug. And once you've done that, what you then want to do is make sure you drop in this bit of code. Now, let me come on to the caveat. OK, let's go over to the loop. No, not the loop grid. Sorry, not the loop grid, not the loop grid. Leave that alone. We've got to go to the taxonomy filter. So when you go over to the taxonomy filter, obviously it's applied to loop grid one and it's using the categories. If you go down to settings, if you apply multiple selection, this just won't work. OK. It brings everything back. You go and hit publish. And basically when you click it, it just doesn't work correctly. So at the moment, I have not found a way to make this work for multiple selection. Of course, I'll keep experimenting in the background. Um, but you can see what other settings I've got over here. Make sure you are showing the children. But like I said, and, and by the way, don't worry about that. Just make sure you've gone and hit publish. OK, and when you go to view it in your preview, you'll see that it's only going to show you the parent. And when I click on a parent, the children appear. So like I said, imagine each one of these parents had, a, say, a 10, for instance, child. That's 40 children plus the parent. Imagine how many filters you're now going to have. I will be having a look at the multiple selection parks. I know people would love to have that. But another thing I want you to consider when we think of categories by having a parent called bike or brand, my category is the name in a way. This, I'm, I'm, I don't know if this is going to make sense to you now. My actual categories are the BMW, Ferrari and Toyota. This almost is like a taxonomy, almost like a custom one, whereas the color is like another taxonomy. But rather than having a color taxonomy and then a brand taxonomy and then a transmission taxonomy, I'm putting them all together into one. So the parent is like the group title and then the children are the actual category items that you would have in the middle. I am going to be looking at taking this a stage further, but I wanted to make sure this worked and I hope you understand and I hope you have a bit of fun now with maybe not showing all the children until you click on the parent. I'd love to know your comments. I'd love to read them. I will read them. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll keep seeing you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big.